All right, folks, here we are. Um, let's uh, tackle this next um, topic of volume, starting with rectangular prisms um, or cubes. So um, I will say this, volume is incredibly simple, and I know you guys don't always believe me when I say things are simple, but I will say objectively it's a lot um, more intuitive than surface area. Um, all right, that being said, let's just dive in. I'm not going to do as many examples with volume because, like I said, it's just a lot simpler and more intuitive. Um, so hopefully I can fit more into this video. So looking at the volume of rectangular prisms below, um, you have three components you need to look out for, length, width, and height, right? That's why it's uh, cubed at the end when we solve for this. So it doesn't matter what you label what, because if I was to turn this um, or prism on its side any which way, the dimension label would change, so it doesn't matter. So the volume is just going to be 9 times 17 times 24, which very simply comes to 3,672. And please make sure you write centimeters. No, nope, I messed up. Cubed, not squared. Okay, um, two, there's no tricky trick. Three, there's no tricky trick, so you can do that. Um, all right, so next prism that we have here is, actually, it's all other prisms, so it doesn't matter what kind of prism it is. All you need is the area of the base and the height of the figure. Now, keep in mind with prisms, the base is the shape that is the same on the top and the bottom. They're basically parallel to each other, connected by those lines at their edges. So you will need to look up the area of those base shapes in terms of referencing other parts of this packet if necessary. But the base of this area, uh, sorry, the area of this base, because it is a triangle, is going to be one half base times height, right? So the area of the base is going to be one half, excuse me, um, 12 is the base we can say, right? because I see that as a base here, and then I see that height is 7.3. So the area of the base of this prism is 43.8. Now I can go ahead and solve the volume, because I'm going to use that capital B. Um, 43.8 times, and I need to determine the height. The height would be 5. So times 5. And the final volume is 219 feet cubed. Okay. Um, similarly with 5, all I'll do is help point out which uh, what sides are the bases. So we got a base right here, and its opposite base is right here. So you're still finding the area of this um, base first, and you have the length, oh, sorry, the base and the height. You could do that. It's exactly the same as the previous problem. Okay, looking at number six, we do have a shift in the base. So this time we have a trapezoid um, opposite and parallel to another trapezoid. So I have to remember, how do I find the area of a trapezoid? And that was one half the height times base one plus base two. Okay, so let's see if I have those components. So one half the height, um, I do have height here. So that's 17.9 times, uh, let me erase some of this so that it's clear. Here's a base one, and here's base two, and since this is opposite, this is also gonna be 14. So 36 plus 14, and I have one half 17.9 times, uh, what was this one? I'm sorry, blanked. 50. And the area of that base is 400. I don't know. Yes, 447.5. Now I plug that into that volume formula, which is base, area of base times the height, and I get V equals 447.5. 7.5 times the height of this figure, which is actually right here. It's 25. And the reason why that is, is because, again, if I flipped this figure 
um, so that the base was touching the floor, so to speak. The height is the distance between the two bases, basically, right? So this is going to be 447.5 times 25. That's the height of that figure. And volume is going to be 11,000. 187.5 meters cubed volume is cubed okay all right um you'll see noticing actually that a lot of these figures repeat so we're just like adding on to our knowledge here seven is not that difficult there's no trick eight is another trapezoid one just like we did um so let's move into volume of cylinders so the volume of cylinder is pi r squared times height. The only two components you need to look for are radius and height. So for number nine, very simple. I have my radius here, which is 18, and my height is 15. So all I need to do is plug those in. Volume equals pi 18 squared times 15. And my volume is 4,860 pi. Once you clean that up, the final volume is just 15,268.14 inches cubed. Another reminder, please make sure you have the correct unit and form at the end of that unit. Otherwise, I um, start taking points off. Okay, 20 is not that much more difficult. Um, instead, just of using 11 though just make sure you cut that in half because you want radius and not diameter all right then we're moving into our application problems um these are really fun they're fun to me um but i find them interesting because you're actually thinking about what am i subtracting or adding in terms of what the problem is asking for so for like for example for question one notice that there is a cylinder basically trapped inside this triangular prism, right? Um, they're asking you to find the volume of the prism. So you would have to basically take the area of the triangular prism and subtract the area of the cylinder, and you would get the area of the empty space. Notice I didn't actually create the equations for you, but I think you can do it. Um, it's not too bad. Um, 12 is another fun little one. Just make sure that once you find your volume, you're actually answering the question, how many hours will it take to fill the pool? And that's it. Like I told you guys, volume is really not that intimidating. Um, it's actually pretty fun. So I, I think I'll actually just finish off unit uh, yeah, unit nine packet two by doing the volume of pyramids as well instead of creating another video for it. So here we go. Um, pyramids, the volume is one third base, uh, area of the base times the height. Now keep in mind they're asking for height and not um, slant length, right? They want the height, which is from the topmost point to the bottommost point, creating that 90 degree. And it will fall into that halfway area okay so base of this um square pyramid is going to be 10 times 11 right length and width i want to find the area of the base that's going to be 110 and now i can go ahead and solve for volume volume is 110 oh i'm sorry forgot the one third one third 110 and my height is nice and clearly labeled as well, times 16. And my final volume is 586.67 inches cubed. All right. Okay, for number two, same deal. Um, find the base of the rectangle at the bottom first, just like you did over here. And then also there's no trick. Height is clearly indicated right there. So you just multiply it in. Um, okay, let's do three, though, because that one is, again, it's not tricky. It's just you have to do like a side quest to basically solve the problem. So for three, I want to find the area of the base first. 
And since this is a square, that's really simple. That's just 14 times 14, which is 196. So the volume starts off as one third, 196. And what I am missing, however, is my height. But just like we did in that one surface area problem, notice that if I connect that slant length um, across the base to the bottom of my height, I create that 90 degree triangle. And once I have that 90 degree triangle, I can use Pythagorean theorem. Um, this has cut that 14 length here in half, so this is going to be 7. I have slant length is 25. Keep in mind that this is my C value because it's opposite the 90 degrees. So I'm going to say 25 squared equals 7 squared plus B squared. Okay? And then, oh, not X. B squared equals 576 and B equals 24. So the height is... 24. I just plug that in nice and simple. And the volume is 1,568 feet cubed. Okay. Um, let's see. For number four, no tricks. It's pretty straightforward. Find the area of the base and then multiply it by the height, which is stated right here. Um, for five, you will have to use Pythagorean theorem in order to find... Um, Let's see, in order to find the height, basically, of this. Um, and you need that for the area. So actually, you know what, let's do, let's do five together. So this is a triangular pyramid, so the base is going to be one-half base times height. And I do have the base here, let's call that 14. <laughs> What I am missing is the height, right? Um, but I can get that by using, again, Pythagorean theorem. So, let's see. Um, 14 squared. Oh, actually, what I missed, what I missed here um, was that the problem actually already told me that this triangle... The base is just one big right triangle. So that's fun. Oh, that's clever. So 14 squared plus, because this will be my A, this would be my B, and this is my C because it's opposite the 90. 14 squared plus B squared equals 22.1 squared. Um, once you resolve everything, X should equal 17.1. So that is my height. Um, so then I'm going to multiply that by 17.1, and I get 119.7, okay? Now I can find the volume. The volume is one-third area of the base, which is 119.7, times the height, which is clearly given to us, which is 19, and my final volume is 758.1 meters cubed. Okay, and that's it. Um, six is, again, per, ooh, you know, six is kind of interesting. Uh, you, you will need to use special right triangle here um, in order to find one of the sides. So if you can get it, great. If not, I wouldn't worry about it too much. All right, and then last section here, we have volume of cones. Okay, so cones is also fairly straightforward. All you need to know is the radius and the height, and then the rest of it is just formula. Okay, so looking at 7, we have the radius as 9, and the height here is 17. So volume is going to be 1 third pi radius, which is 9 squared, times the height, which is 17, and volume is 1,441.99 yards cubed. So even out of habit for me, I'm like so used to putting squared Make sure I didn't mess up the previous ones. Okay. Um, looking at 8, fairly simple. Again, there's not much of a trick here. And then looking at 9, let's do this one together. So I need radius and I need 
height, right? Radius is going to be half of the 27 kilometers. So actually, let me just start off. So volume is going to be one third pi. Um, half of 27 is 13.5 squared. And what I am missing is my height. But again, notice it makes that 90 degree angle. If I know that this is 13.5 and that this is 22.5, I can go ahead and find for my missing side. So a squared plus 13.5 squared equals 22.5 squared. And I do need my calculator for this one. So 13.5 squared is 182.25. 22.5 squared, which is 506.25. Subtract that. Um, 182.25. I get 324, and then you want to square root 324, and A is exactly 18, which means that my height is exactly 18, so I just multiply that with at the end and then clean that up we get um, 3,435.33 kilometers cubed okay and that's it um, you want to do those application problems or you're like you want to switch in and out and just try to make sure you get a sampling of everything um, because, again, keep in mind, I'm not being strict in checking what's in this packet, but I just want you to have enough reference points for your test. And um, this, these two pages here, pages 18 and 19, might be really, really good reference pages because you're forced to create volume and surface area. So even if you want to skip all of these practice problems and you just want to do pages 18 and 19, I think that would be really, really good. Um, and then, yeah, that's really it. So that's the end of packet two. And then packet three starts with parts of a sphere. Uh, and I'll see you then. Bye.